It is so hard to look cute or sophisticated with camera gear. So ugly, so bulky. Why is that? It's the bane of my existence. As a multidisciplinary photographer, I don't just shoot one subject or stay in one niche. It can't fit in a box. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what camera gear I typically bring depending on the scenario, whether it's from a helicopter, shooting landscapes or cityscapes, portraits, proposals, you name it. I usually try to keep it pretty light, but sometimes it's not always feasible. For those of you that don't know me, which is all of you, my name is Erin Donahue. I'm a professional photographer and content creator based out of New York City. Let's go. Starting off, let's go over what I carry my camera gear in since the bag is the lifeblood to it all. I use the Jumper by Brevetti. Since my mission is to travel as light as possible, I like that it's compact, lightweight, and has good back support. It has dividers to configure camera setup, but they're Velcro and kind of flimsy. It's a bit pricey too, but I bought it on sale. My main camera body is the Sony a7 III. It's a full frame mirrorless camera and I pair it with the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens. Recently, I started getting into drone photography. I needed it to up my services to clients since most photographers don't fly drones. When DJI released the Mini 3 Pro, I finally caved and got one because it shoots true vertical video and is under the weight limit to register with the FAA. I am the target market since I create a lot of short form video like Reels and TikTok. Get some ND filters because it makes all the difference during the day. I got the remote controller with the built-in screen because I tend to need my phone for other uses. In New York City, drones are restricted so I don't get to practice as much as I want to. I don't typically carry a flash with me. Usually it's when I have a client photo shoot, especially a surprise proposal or an event that's indoors. A lot of client stuff I shoot are in low light or at night, so it's good to have on hand. But this one in particular can be finicky. It's the Godox TT685S Think Light, which is an entry level hot shoe flash that's about $100. When I do bring this with me, I always carry extra batteries. At the time when I got it, I didn't know there were rechargeable options. They're most likely more expensive though. It's always good to have a cleaning kit on hand, like the dust rocket. During everyday adventures, I never bring it with me. It's not a best practice, but like I said, I prefer to carry light. If I'm going on a trip though, then yeah, I'm gonna bring it with me. Dust on the sensor happens so frequently. If I bring the hot shoe flash with me, then I'll also bring the transmitter as well, just in case I do any off-camera flash. This is the Godox X1TS, which is compatible with all the Godox artificial light I use. I also have the Godox FV150 for my home studio. If you want to see a breakdown of that setup, let me know in the comments. Moving on, I do not bring a laptop in my bag. I edit everything on a desktop computer I built, so if I'm on the road and need to post anything right away, I'll just transfer directly from the SD card onto my phone. This foldable phone holder is my favorite. Instead of carrying a phone tripod with me in order to get behind the scene footage, I can just use this. It has many uses. Like watching TV when you have a 9 hour layover at an airport. I saw someone on TikTok say they wouldn't be caught dead using a phone tripod in public, so that's why they got this instead. It's not a big deal using a phone tripod, you get used to it. <laughs> I always need BTS footage or B-roll footage, so I carry a second phone with me. Next is an ND filter. It's a hit or miss if I carry one on me. This one is a variable ND filter by Tiffin. Instead of carrying multiple glass, it's an all-in-one. Most of the time, if I do remember to bring it, I almost never use it. It doesn't take up too much space, so it doesn't hurt to bring it with me, just in case. Love how many pockets the Brevetti has. I bring extra batteries if I have a client photo shoot or I'm traveling. The Sony a7 III has great battery life, so I don't really need extras. Always be prepared though, you don't want to be SOL. In lieu of a hot shoe flash, carrying this compact aperture MC RGB panel light comes in handy for a lot of scenarios. I prefer to use this because it's less distracting. You can control the hue, saturation, and intensity of the colors, and it comes with a diffuser as well. Super compact and cute. Next are some practical items like sunglasses and a charger. In my opinion, a camera bag shouldn't just carry camera gear. I see photographers bring their whole arsenal and carry like 50 pounds of weight. That's no fun. Unless there's a designated reason to bring all that gear, like a photo shoot, leave most of it at home. You make yourself a target by carrying thousands of dollars worth of gear in a huge camera backpack. For me, my ethos is to blend in. Bringing a headlamp like this is specific for astrophotography only. It's necessary to see since astrophotography is only achievable in dark sky zones, so I don't really bring it. But when I do, it's small. I bring a lavalier mic with me now if I need to do any voiceovers for content I post. This stays home though, unless I'm going on a trip. I don't need it for any other occasion. Are you noticing a theme with my stuff? <laughs> These Bose in-ear headphones are the GOAT. I don't like over the ear because they're huge and I don't like the feeling of in-ear noise canceling. I'm old school and still use the adapter since I've had these forever. I also have like three other pairs. Now you see all the small stuff I've stuffed into the small pockets. On to the big pockets. We're almost done, kind of. Wallet goes on the inside where it's more secure. 
I always have to have a water bottle on me. There's a dedicated side pocket for it, but if I have space, I prefer to leave it in the inside pocket. Keep things from flying out. This phone holder is for a very specific purpose, and that's open door helicopters. Everything has to be strapped on you. You don't want anything coming loose and falling out. I also use a harness during heli rides in order to use two cameras. I'll also use this harness for events, especially weddings or anytime it's not feasible to be switching lenses on one body. Time is of the essence. Lastly, another practical item. Bringing a cardigan or a sweater is important since temps change constantly. If a camera bag can't fit something like this, it's not practical. Here's a flat lay of what I bring with me, give or take, depending on the situation. On to tripods. As much as I don't want to, I almost always need them. I have a couple of phone tripods, but I leave them at home now that I can use the foldable phone stand. This hot shoe phone mount is great to get BTS by putting your phone on your camera or as a standalone holder for the phone tripod. My camera tripod is a carbon fiber tripod by three-legged thing, specific for travel. After the camera body and lenses, a tripod is the next big investment, which is why I upgraded to carbon fiber from aluminum. If I need to carry everything in order to get content, I'll switch bags and use a regular 15 inch backpack. Again, all about being compact. Back support is pretty sturdy with this too. Otherwise, I'll just carry them on my shoulder if I'm using the brevetti jumper. I've had many instances where I've walked around like this all day and my shoulders do get sore. So I've shared what my camera bag can look like for many shooting scenarios I do. But if I'm just walking around the streets, I only want to carry the essentials. This is the Claremont by Low and & Sons, and it is a camera bag. Disclaimer, they did gift it to me. It's fashionable, but has limited space. I can't even use my wallet in here. I'd have to swap for a smaller one. This is for going out and looking cute, but it's not fully functional in my opinion. I find myself reaching for this nylon loose bag instead because it can hold more. It's not as cute as the other crossbody bag, but we've already established that carrying camera gear is impossible to look sophisticated or cute. If you choose this life of photography, it's a life of bulk. I hope you found some insight from this video, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and a follow, and see you in the next video. For those of you that don't know me, which is all of you, my name is Erin Donahue. I'm a 